Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about the chapter number two, which is a part of MSAT Achieve Math Test Geometry. So here I named it as Solid Geometry. So in the last lesson, we studied about a plane geometry and we discussed about the type of questions asked on or could be asked on triangles, circle, quadrilaterals and so on. If you have not gone through those videos, please follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch it. Also, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So let's start with the chapter number two here, which is solid geometry. Question number one says a solid aluminum cylinder has a, a radius of 10 centimeter and the height of h centimeter. The mass of the cylinder is 5.4 kg and density of aluminium is 0 0.0027 kg per centimeter cube. What is the value of h? Round your answer to nearest tens. Question asking us to find the height of the cylinder basically. So if I say this is the cylinder and whose radius is given to us is 10 and the mass of the cylinder and the uh, density of the cylinder is given so how do we make use of that mass and the density as we say radius r value which is going to be 10 centimeter and question asking you what will be the height so how do we make use of the given information see to find the height i must need to have a volume of the cylinder so without knowing volume you can't find the height if volume is known making use of radius we can find the height or if the height is also given and the radius is given, we can find the volume of it. So here there are two quantities unknown. One is volume and another one is height. So you can make use of the other information given about the cylinder. That is they said mass of the cylinder is 5.4 kg and the density of the cylinder is 0 0.0027 kg per centimeter cube. Now how do we make use of this? So there is a formula that is uh, which can be used so that is density is equal to mass divided by volume. So if you rearrange this formula, then we get it as volume is equals to mass divided by density. So substitute their values that is uh, volume is equals to mass is 5.4 and density is 0 0.0027. And if you put it in the calculator and see what value you get it as 5.4 divided by 0 0.0027 approximately you'll be getting it as 2000 centimeter cube. So I got a volume now V is equals to 2000 centimeter cube and make use of it to find the height. So by the way, I need to know the what is the formula to find the volume of a cylinder. As I already told you before as well in the previous class all relevant formulas mostly with the geometries will be given to you and what I'm going to show you this one as it is this will be available for you to refer. Now what is the formula of volume of a cylinder or volume of a right cylinder? So volume is equals to pi r square h. So here we can say volume here equals to pi r square h. We have a value of volume so we can say 20 I mean 2000 is equals to pi times what is the value of r which is 10 10 square times h so to solve for value of h h is equals to 2000 divided by pi times 10 square i'm just rearranging it so now take a help of calculator and substitute you'll be getting that answer what will be the height of it so it's gonna be 2000 divided by 5 times 10 square so you'll be getting it as 6.3666 something so height is gonna be 6.366 question asked you to round to the nearest tens while rounding to the nearest tens look at to the tens place and after it if the numbers are 5 or above then we add 1 to the tens place number and discard these values so after that rounding, so what will be the height? Height is going to be 6 point, that is 3 plus 1 is going to be 4. 
centimeter. So answer to this question is going to be 6.4. Question number 2 says, use the figure below to answer the questions that follows. Which function can be used below to find the volume of the difference between the inner and outer cylinder? This question is also again volume of a against the volume of the cylinder. So they are asking us find the difference between the well, like you know what is the volume of the space between inner and outer cylinder. They are asking us to find what will be the space this space between inner and outer cylinder. So this is also be the part of it so this is all is included this space this space by the way how do we gonna find the volume of the space between inner and outer cylinder you just need to find the volume of the individual cylinder and subtract it so volume of the outside cylinder minus the volume of the inside cylinder that gives you the space left in between so we can say here straight power volume of the cylinder is equals to volume of the outer cylinder minus volume of the inner cylinder now what is the volume of the outer cylinder outer cylinder has the radius of r so let me write it as a capital r let me note it as a with capital r that is outer cylinder has the radius of r and the inner cylinder has a radius of small r now what is the formula for volume of a cylinder just we saw that volume of the cylinder is pi r square h i am writing here minus inner cylinder is going to be pi r square h now what is h h is the height of the cylinder which is 12 mm 12 millimeter which is already has been given to us so what are the factor what are the terms which can taken out pi and h can be taken it as pi times h will be taken out then we left with r square minus r square substitute their values h is 12 and 12 times pi after substitution you will be getting it as 12 pi and r square r value is 10 so 10 square minus small r square which gives us 12 pi times r square that is 10 square is going to be 100 minus r square that is equivalent to what that is equal to the first option here so we go with the option a here question 3 says a storage tank is in the shape of a cylinder with a hemisphere on the top. The highest point on the inside of the storage tank is 13 meter above the floor of the storage tank and the diameter inside the cylinder is 8 meters. What is the total volume inside the storage tank to the nearest cubic meters? They are asking you to find, by the way, they are asking you to find volume of that. What is the volume here? Volume is basically the space enclosed. What is the space in between this tank? That is we are asked to. And if you see here, they clearly mention that the upper part is a hemisphere. What does the hemisphere represent? Half of the sphere. If you divide a sphere into half, that part represents a hemisphere. And they also given us the diameter of the base of the cylinder is 8 meter. So if diameter is 8, then the radius will be 4. 4 meter if radius is 4 meter here then radius here also gonna be 4 meter and this will be same as the radius of the sphere as well or radius of the hemisphere isn't it so the radius of the hemisphere that also equals to 4 because height and the radius for the hemisphere is gonna be same <coughs> so this also gonna be 4 meter now the total length from base here up to the top is uh, 13 then what would be the height of the cylinder then height of the cylinder is 13 minus this 4 so if you do it as 13 minus 4 which is going to be 9 meter so i am doing so because i need to find the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere that gives the volume of the storage tank so volume of the uh, cylinder or the volume of the tank is equals to volume of the cylinder plus volume of hemisphere so volume of hemisphere we just saw that volume of the cylinder formula is uh, what it is pi r square h so that's what we know so here it's gonna be pi r square h plus volume of the hemisphere hemi means half of the sphere so volume half of the volume of the sphere what is the formula volume of a sphere 
volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So you can write it as 4 divided by 3 pi r cube. Just substitute these values in the calculator, you get it. So pi times 4 square times 9 plus half 4 by 3 pi times 4 cube. So put it in the calculator carefully, you get answer for it. It's going to be shift 5 times 4 square times 9 plus 1 half in the bracket what it is 4 by 3 4 by 3 times shift 5 times 4 cube so that is we're gonna get this volume is gonna be 586.43 it becomes 586.43 as the question asked us round to the nearest cubic meter to the nearest cubic meter why can we can say 586 uh, like meter cube so answer here should be 586 meter cube question 4 says in the figure below each small cube measures one unit on each side what would be the volume of this figure if 20 small cubes were removed so this solid has been made with the small cubes whose uh, size is going to be one unit each so first let's calculate what will be the volume of this solid it basically says how many cubes it has been made so what would be the length of this? This represents the length of the solid. This represents the width. And this part represents the height of the solid. So now length has been made by how many cubes? As they said, each is one unit. So length has been made by 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 cubes. So length is going to be 4 units. And the width has been made by 3. So that is 1, 2, 3. So width is going to be 3 units. And height made with how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it has been made with the 5 cubes. Now what will be the volume of the rectangular solid? So volume of a rectangular solid or rectangular prism that is length times width times the height. So volume here is length times width times the height. What it gonna be? 4 times 3 times 5 which is gonna be 60 cubic units cubic units but this is not the answer question says what would be the volume of this figure if 20 small cubes were removed 60 cubic units means this solid has total 60 cubes in it whose uh, size is gonna be one unit each so if you remove the 20 from that so volume of the new shape what is left after removing the 20 cubes is become 60 minus 20 which is gonna be 40 cubic units so the volume for this one left is gonna be 40 cubic units this will be the last question find the volume of the solid below so here you need to recognize what is the name of this solid then and only you will be able to use the right formula i heard in the exam that i heard from the students who has already taken msat exam and they mentioned that sometimes they give you the shape and they ask you what is the name of this shape or like this they show you the shape and ask you to find its volume and maybe its surface areas and so on unless and until you don't know the name then you will not be able to use the right formula so please learn whatever the shape's name has been given in the formula sheet learn how they looks and how we can use them to find the volume surface areas and all by the way which shape it is this shape is called like rectangular base pyramid it's a pyramid by the way because length is different so width value is different and the height so it is a pyramid what will be the formula for the uh, rectangular based pyramid pyramid could be a square based when the length and width are same so volume of the rectangular based pyramid is length times width times the height divided by three so volume of this shape is going to be length times width times the height divided by three so what is the length six width is eight height is going to be 9 divided by 3 that what it gives going to be 144 cubic feet so we go with option a so that's it for today's lesson
in the next video i'll be uh, uh, seeing with you guys with the conic section which is um, coordinate geometries and the conics part of it please do like share and subscribe to my channel so that when i upload a new videos you will be notified thank you so much see you in next video